Welcome back, No Ceilings crew. It's been a minute. I'm Tyler Rucker, as always, and I'm getting excited, you know, getting really pumped up for the official start of draft season. We've got a lot of content that's going to be rolling out over the next couple of months. You know, we got the NCAA tournament going on. March Madness has been absolutely outstanding, but it's time to take a look at our most recent big board. We, we put this out at NoCeilingsNBA.com a couple of weeks ago. It's our biggest installment yet. This is our top 60, and to do it right, we didn't want to shortcut it. It's going to be two parts. We wanted to give an analysis and breakdown and highlights on each prospect on our big board. Part two, this video, is going to be prospects ranked from 60th to 31st, basically in that second round range. Now there's going to be a lot of movement, so just kind of educate yourself on some of these players. Our next big board installment is going to be next week on NoCeilingsNBA.com. A lot has happened in these last couple of weeks. So don't get married to these rankings. Remember, these are composite big board rankings, which our entire panel at No Ceilings came together and put together their evaluations. There's already a plenty of debate between our team that, you know, we're gonna move some players up. You know, players like Paul and Carol have been absolutely fantastic in the tournament. A lot of movement's gonna be going on these next couple months. We've got pre-draft workouts, the entire pre-draft process, including combines, you know, teams getting individual private workouts. It's gonna be a fun one. For now, enjoy our most recent big board. Like I said, our next installment will be out next week. Part one, we'll have a link at the end of the video as well as in the bio. Buckle up folks, draft season is about to officially get underway. Making his debut on our latest No Ceilings composite big board rankings is Kentucky junior Oscar Shibwe. If you haven't been watching college basketball closely this year, then there's a chance you might have missed one of the most productive centers in the country. Although undersized for a modern day center, Oscar is a force in the paint and dominates opponents with his 6'9", 255 pound frame. The 22 year old big man's production has been too impressive to ignore as he went on to finish the year with averages of 17.4 points, 15.1 rebounds, and 1.6 blocks per game. Freshman guard Turkavion Smith has started to generate some buzz in NBA draft circles after his impressive finish to the 2021-22 NCAA season. During his last five games of the year, Smith went on to post averages of 20 points, 4.2 rebounds and 2.6 assists per game while shooting 35.4% from three point range. The six foot four guard could be a name that returns for another year at NC State, but he's a prospect to keep a close eye on throughout the upcoming months. Murray State junior guard Tevin Brown finds himself at 58 on our latest big board installment at No Ceilings. The six foot five junior has been one of the underrated sleepers in the 2022 NBA draft class and has the ability to take over a game in a number of different ways. Brown will be another name to monitor closely throughout the pre-draft process after a strong finish to the season. In his last five games, the explosive guard has gone on to post averages of 19.2 points, 6.8 rebounds, and 2.4 assists while shooting 45.2% from the field and 35% from three-point range. Memphis Tigers forward Josh Minot has continued to be one of the more fascinating raw prospects in college basketball. While it was expected that Minot could return to Memphis for another year of grooming, he recently declared and said that he intends to keep his name in the draft. The tools are intriguing and too fascinating to ignore. Listed at six foot nine, Minot has the two-way versatility to become a serious asset as he stands out with his athleticism and ability to make hustle plays. The recently turned 20 year old could be a dark horse to generate some buzz, especially with the announcement that he's gonna keep his name in this class. Throughout the year, Michigan freshman forward Musa Diabate has been a name that NBA scouts and personnel have been keeping a close eye on. The French born 20 year old stands out on the court with his impressive six foot 11, 210 pound frame and relentless motor. Although considered a favorite to be a breakout candidate for the 2023 NBA draft class, Diabate has continued to be a potential candidate to enter his name in this year's class. He will be another name that scouts and evaluators watch closely throughout the pre-draft process as he has the raw tools and upside to be in high demand. In his last three games, Diabate has gone on to post averages of 8.3 points and 9.3 rebounds a game. A name that has started to pick up some steam in NBA draft circles is Arkansas sophomore Jalen Williams. 
After a slow start to the regular season, Williams saw the light come on and began to put up some eye-opening production for the Razorbacks. Another player who could see his NBA drive stock skyrocket with another year of development, Williams has started to get the intrigue of NBA scouts due to his all-around versatility on both sides of the ball. A gifted playmaker who showcases some special passing vision, the 19-year-old center has gone on to post averages of 13 points, 10.6 rebounds, and 1.9 assists per game during his last 10 games. TCU sophomore guard Mike Miles finds himself at 54th overall on our most recent big board installment. The 6'2 guard has been on the radar of NBA scouts throughout the 2021-22 NCAA season and has become a popular sleeper candidate for the upcoming draft class. Still just 19 years old, Miles has the all-around game to entice teams to add a potential rotation asset early on. His last three games, Miles has gone on to post averages of 16 points, 4.3 rebounds, and 2.3 assists while shooting 44.2% from the field. The son of former NBA veteran Samaki Walker, Colorado sophomore Jabari Walker has been getting plenty of attention over the years as a potential NBA draft prospect. After showcasing some flashes during his freshman year, scouts were eager to see if Walker could take another step this year in Boulder. Although he's still a bit raw in a number of areas, Walker started to put up some impressive production and will be a name to monitor closely moving forward. In his last 10 games, the 6'8 sophomore forward went on to post averages of 16.7 points and 10.8 rebounds while shooting 44.7% from three. If you find yourself looking for an underrated 3 and D prospect, then Alabama senior wing Keon Ellis will have your attention. Listed at 6'6", 175 pounds, Ellis stands out with his thin frame but makes up for it with tenacious defensive ability and the potential to be a sniper from outside. The 22-year-old will need to become a more consistent threat, but he should be an intriguing second-round target for NBA front offices. In his last five games, Ellis went on to average 12.8 points, 6.8 rebounds, and 2.2 steals per game while shooting 40.7% from three-point range. Purdue Boilermakers senior Trevion Williams has quickly become one of the more fascinating big man prospects in the 2022 NBA draft. Listed at 6'10", 255 pounds, Williams is a load in the paint, but has some of the best playmaking ability you will see of any big man in this class. NBA teams will have to have a specific role in place for the talented center, but his vision and offensive upside should make him a popular sleeper in NBA draft circles. In his last three games, Williams had gone on to post averages of 12 points, 9.3 rebounds, and 3.3 assists in just 20 minutes. A name that has continued to buzz when it comes to NBA scouts and personnel is Santa Clara guard Jalen Williams. Listed at 6'6", 195 pounds, the versatile junior has sh continued to showcase the ability to be a dynamic, multi-level scorer at the next level. The talent is real, and Williams could be a name that goes much earlier than expected if he keeps his name in the 2022 class, and has the ability to take over a game at any moment. The Santa Clara guard went on to average 18 points, 4.4 rebounds, and 4.2 assists this year while shooting 51.3% from the field and 39.6% from three. If any team in the NBA is looking for a floor spacing forward, then you can bet that they will be intrigued by St. John's Jr. Julian Champagny. The 20-year-old wing continued to showcase the ability to be a dangerous threat from the perimeter throughout his 2021-22 campaign. Listed at 6'8", 215 pounds, Champagne has the quick release and versatility as a shooter to entice teams to add him to the rotation. He went on to average 19.2 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, and 2.0 steals per game for the Red Storm this year. French-born prospect Ujman Jiang came into the year as one of the most hyped international talents in the 2022 class. After announcing he would spend the year playing in the NBL with the New Zealand Breakers, Zhang found himself struggling to find a rhythm in the physical league. That was until recently, in which the reported 6'10 wing has started to show some serious signs. In his last five games, Zhang went on to post averages of 13.8 points and 4.8 rebounds while shooting 44.1% from the field. Still just 18 years old, 
Zhang has a long way to go, but the recent signs should get NBA teams more than excited about his long-term potential. There's no denying that Alabama freshman guard J.D. Davison has a freakish set of tools that will have NBA teams more than intrigued. At six foot three, with sports car-like speed and some lethal athleticism, Davison has all of the intangibles to entice teams as a raw point guard with serious upside. It's been an up and down season for Davison, who still looks to have plenty of grooming left to be done when it comes to becoming a more all around point guard. Davison has the speed and quickness to become a dynamic threat, but many will wonder if he should decide to return for another year. For now, the talented freshman finds his way to 47th on the no ceilings big board. A name that has started to pick up some buzz throughout the 2021-22 NCAA season was Stanford freshman wing Harrison Ingram. The 6'8 forward has an impressive feel for the game and pairs that well with some underrated playmaking ability. Ingram became one of the main playmakers for the Cardinals this year, and he possesses some raw upside when it comes to his versatility on both sides of the floor. He could be another player that returns and is considered a potential breakout candidate as a sophomore but Ingram will have the attention of NBA scouts moving forward for now. After making the jump to the NBL this year, New Zealand Breakers guard Hugo Basson makes his way to 45th on our latest big board. Basson is a microwave scorer who plays the game with shiftiness and thrives in the pick and roll game. The French born prospect was buzzing overseas last year before deciding to play in the NBL this season. And he's continued to put up some impressive performances throughout the year. Hugo will be an intriguing second round selection as the combo guard has the ability to light it up from the perimeter in a hurry. Mississippi State floor general Iverson Molinar will have plenty of fans in front offices when it comes to the 2022 NBA draft class. Molinar has continued to show up on draft radars since his sophomore year and plays the game with a strong overall feel. A shifty guard that stands out with his composure on the floor Molinar could be a name that goes much earlier than expected due to his multi-level scoring ability and awareness. Molinar recently declared for the draft, but is also keeping his eligibility, and NBA teams will want monitor that situation closely moving forward. One of the biggest risers in the college basketball scene as of late has been Wake Forest forward Jake Laravia. Listed at 6 foot 8, 225 pounds, the talented junior started to have an impressive stretch of performances for the Demon Deacons, and his production became too impressive to ignore. In his last eight games for Wake Forest, Laravio went on to post averages of 16.3 points, 7.1 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and 2.1 steals per game, while shooting 51.9% from the field and 38.1% from three. He's a sleeper to keep a close eye on, folks, especially moving forward. Although Toledo sophomore Ryan Rollins could become a breakout star if he decides to return for his junior year, don't be surprised if this name starts to heat up quickly in NBA draft circles. There's always a prospect that surprises the draft world and generates some buzz throughout the pre-draft process, and Rollins has the potential to be this year's wild card. A gifted scorer with a smooth feel for the game at six foot four, Rollins has continued to generate some serious bug amongst NBA scouts throughout this season. In his last seven games, Rollins went on to post averages of 18.3 points, 5.9 rebounds, 3.9 assists, and 1.4 steals per game while shooting 44.5% from the field. Davidson forward Hyung Jung Lee finds himself at 41st on our latest big board installment. After generating some buzz throughout the year, Lee has found himself as a potential second round sleeper in this year's 2022 NBA draft class. There's no doubt that there's limitations to his game, but Lee has the ability to be an absolute sniper from outside with his impressive shooting ability. It's no secret that NBA front offices are always hunting for shooting, and Lee is going to be one of the best in this class. If you're looking for a versatile guard with good size, then St. Joseph's sophomore Jordan Hall should be extremely high on your sleeper list. Although Hall finds himself at 40th on our latest big board, he's a name that could end up buzzing in NBA draft circles with a strong pre-draft process. Listed at 6 foot 8, 210 pounds, Hall has sensational feel and playmaking ability and can fill up the box scores rapidly. He went on to finish the season with averages of 14.1 points, 6.7 rebounds, 5.8 assists, and 1.2 steals per game. 
One of the most impressive upperclassmen in college basketball as of late has been UCLA forward Hame Hawkes Jr. Although Hawkes might not offer the upside of some of the other 2022 prospects, he's a grinder who knows how to play the game to his strengths. Hame should offer immediate contributor potential as an early rotation asset due to his two-way versatility and relentless motor around the paint. Notre Dame freshman guard Blake Wesley makes his way to 38th on our latest big board installment. It's been an up and down season for the 6'4 freshman guard, but there's no denying that Wesley has some of the most intriguing upside of a number of prospects in the 2022 class. Scouts will be paying close attention to Wesley throughout the process as they will be eager to see if he will keep his name in this class or return for his sophomore year. If Wesley does return, he will be a candidate to skyrocket up NBA draft boards if he can take strides forward in his development. Although Arizona Wildcats junior big man Christian Coloco finds himself at 37th on our latest big board installment, the buzz has started to climb, especially after a strong showing in the Pac-12 tournament and recently throughout March Madness. Coloco has started to take his game to another level and is trending towards becoming a potential first round selection. Listed at 7 foot 1, 230 pounds, Coloco has taken strides forward in his game and looks to have plenty of untapped basketball ahead of himself. One of the hottest names when it comes to international prospects this year is French big man Ismail Kamagate. Playing this year with Paris Basket, Kamagate continues to show some intriguing upside as a rim running big with defensive potential. Listed at 6 foot 11, 220 pounds, the recently turned 21 year old stands out with his physique and energetic playing style. So far this year, Kamagate is averaging 11.5 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 1.4 blocks in 25.6 minutes of action. If you find yourself looking for a sleeper floor general in the 2022 NBA draft class, then Wake Forest guard Alondez Williams should be at the top of your wish list. Williams transferred to the Demon Deacons after spending two previous seasons at Oklahoma. Listed at 6 foot 5, 210 pounds, the senior guard has some sensational playing making ability and can fill up the box scores in a hurry. After averaging 6.7 points per game last year for the Sooners, Williams went on to post averages of 18.8 points, 6.4 rebounds, and 5.2 assists per game for Wake Forest this year while shooting 51.3% from the field. A name that can continue to generate some noise in NBA draft circles is Duke junior wing Wendell Moore Jr. Although there's going to be plenty of other Blue Devils prospects that get plenty of attention throughout the draft process, make sure you don't forget about Moore. Although a junior, Moore won't turn 21 years old until November and continues to be a crucial piece of the puzzle for Duke. The former highly touted prospect out of high school has started to see his confidence click this year and has consistently shown impressive production. So far this year, Moore has gone on to post averages of 13.5 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 4.6 assists per game while shooting 50.7% from the field and 41.3% from three. The biggest wild card of the 2022 NBA draft class will arguably be UCLA freshman forward Peyton Watson. After coming into the year as a potential top 10 selection, Watson has struggled to gain consistent minutes with a veteran Bruins team. Listed at 6 foot 8, 200 pounds, the 19 year old forward has some freakish raw tools to develop, but will need his next team to require patience. A gifted defender with playmaking upside, Watson could be a name that needs another year, but NBA teams will be monitoring him closely as the raw talent and upside could make him a serious long term weapon. Italian-born wing Gabriel Procida has quickly become one of the most fascinating international prospects in the 2022 NBA draft class. Procida has everything NBA teams want from a young developing wing at the NBA level. He's listed at 6 foot 6, 191 pounds, but has an impressive frame that pairs well with his underrated athleticism. Procida has a beautiful outside shot and looks to be a potential weapon on the perimeter. In his last 10 games, he's gone on to average 9.1 points and 3.2 rebounds while shooting 62% from the field and 47.8% from three. Tennessee freshman guard Kennedy Chandler makes his way to 31st overall on our latest big board installment at No Ceilings. 
After being considered as one of the top point guard prospects in the class earlier this season, Chandler saw his stock take a plummet throughout the year. That wasn't until recently, in which Chandler's performance on the court has started to see him climb up boards again. Although undersized at six foot, the freshman guard plays with poise and a sensational change of gears. He's a name that could continue to make noise towards the first round with the strong pre-draft process.